Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how I make my almond milk or, or yet strain my water and almond mix that I just mixed up in this vacuum blender here. Now, the vacuum blender prevents oxidation and keeps more nutrients. But the trick is what I'm going to show you here is I'm using the AeroPress that's normally used for coffee I'm using this to uh, squeeze out my almond milk so I have a stainless steel filter I'm gonna put it put it all together here so this is good to go that just sits right on top and then I'm gonna pour my mixture of my almond milk and or my almonds and water as you can see it's starting to drip through by itself but the key is to be able to push the liquid through without getting the solids in there it's an extremely fine mesh screen and as you push you can feel the pressure build now according to the inventor of press i watch all his videos he just says to supply a gentle even pressure because you don't want to blow through the, the filter too hard. As you can see, it's dripping out slowly, slowly but surely. And now all this air between the mixture and the plunger, it's all air, so you're building air pressure. And slowly pushing all the liquids through the filter. Now without this AeroPress, if you try to squeeze this almond milk through like a regular strainer, you will get a bunch of chunks and nobody wants chunks in their almond milk so this I found is the best way it may not be the fastest as well, as far as if you're going for speed but if you're going for quality and um, ease of cleanup I found this is the best this is the only way I make my almond milk now I, I used a French press before I used the nut bag you just want every method to strain the uh, strain the almond milk from the from the mash but this seems to work the best because I can put all my pressure on it and the pulp comes out nice and dry but I won't bore you with uh, a long video of squeezing this out but I want to show you the mash that you get it's nice and dry Actually, putting a lot of pressure on this. Actually, a good uh, good design would be to have a powered arrow press. Let's say like a plunger that had a hydraulic press. I'm putting a good amount of force on this right now, and it's barely barely going down. She's still going in. Now you can hear the air start to go through. That means you're getting close to the end. There's a lot of liquid already squeezed through. And that's it. It's all liquid out of that mixture of almonds and water I want to show you the mash this is a very tight squeeze oh came up with it if I here it is you can see the inside of the cup it's pretty clear and here is the mash of the almond meal. So I'll be, I'll just basically rinse and repeat the rest of it and I'll squeeze it again. Alright guys, thanks for watching.